All right, here we are with my, let me take off my gloves here, with my 24,000 mile review on my Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. Um, like I've said before, I've done a lot of reviews on these, uh, mainly because I want to kind of uh, document these for, for future buyers or if I ever decide to buy the tires again. Um, I've been doing rotation. I do my rotations every 6,000 miles. Uh, this is the first one I've done in a while. It's now, uh, it's actually May 23rd. So we've gone through a lot of snow and wet, nasty stuff and uh, muddy roads. I, like I've said before, I live on a dirt road. Uh, we've dealt with lots and lots of mud, snow, ice, you name it. Um, <clears throat> they continue to wear very well. Um, this is the, the left front, I'm sorry, right front, right rear. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to change them or anything, so right front, right rear. Um, like I said before, this vehicle has a, a, an issue with the tires getting choppy on the, the, the outside edges. Um, it is not indicative of the tire. <clears throat> it's actually the way this vehicle's always been. I've had it aligned umpteen times. They, they fix, you know, the, the toe in is typically what it is. Um, then 10,000 miles later, it's back. So anymore, I just do what I can to minimize the, the, the wear on the tires, the scalloping on the tires. <clears throat> um, I'm just running my hand across here. Again, this is the, the right front tire. I don't see anything irregular. Even the scalloping isn't that bad. Um, it's really hard to see if you're looking at it. You know, you can kind of see this is lower than this. Um, it's very hard to see. It's not that bad at all, <clears throat> especially for an AT tire like this, a mud and snow rated tire. Um, right rear, again, the vehicle is, it's a Suburban. It's rated at 35 PSI for the tires. I keep it at 35, 40 if I'm towing, you know, my boat, horse, trailer, whatever. Um, but the, the wear is, is great. I mean, it's phenomenal. Um, before I get into measuring tread depth, I'm going to mention something that I noticed this winter <laughs> that was quite interesting. When I bought these tires, I, I hands down A plus in snow traction, phenomenal tire. I mean, they were, they were, I've never been seen an AT tire that drove in the snow so well, but here's the key. When I got wear on these tires, those sipes that were in the tire when they were new, this is what they turn into. Just a little tiny sipe in there. Now, if you look, there's no more siping in here with that wear. So you have large areas of, of contact uh, that are great for on-road. You know, they're great for mud, great for, for even dirt roads. But in the snow, these tires went from, I would say an A plus brand new to a straight up D minus this last winter. They were horrible in the snow. There's no other way to describe it. They, there was zero snow traction. There were so many times just getting, I have a little hill to my driveway, just getting in my driveway was in four wheel drive because they slipped so much. Um, so if you're looking for a snow tire, go just a regular snow tire. I mean, there, there's, there's no other substitute. Um, I use these as snow tires just because, you know, um, I'm not a huge fan of changing out tires twice a year and everything like that, especially on a vehicle that's a daily driver that gets beat up on dirt roads. <clears throat> um, that said, the, the dirt traction, the mud traction, the on-road traction, and drive, the drivability of it, it, it are still great. They're still, I would say, above average. They have not, the ride has not decreased. Uh, it's still comfortable. They don't howl. Um, it's still very smooth. Um, the, you don't feel that sometimes as a, an AT tire gets old and, and, and worn, they'll get hard. And it's like, you feel every little bump and imperfection, especially expansion joints on concrete. Uh, most of my drive is on concrete. Once I get out of our roads and, and most tires, it just, they're just rough and these are very nice. Um, so if you're looking for a good AT tire, Yes, I would say definitely buy these. But if you're looking for something that's going to be an all-season uh, snow-type tire, just go buy a snow tire. I mean, that's there's no other way around it. But I, I, I do wish that maybe they did they, they continued the siping a little deeper 
so that you could have that that you know added snow traction for, as the, the for longevity as that tire wears. Um, but other than that, like I said, they've been they're, they're muddy now. Uh, we actually had an inch of rain last night, so they're muddy. Um, but what I'm going to do is we're just going to take tread depth measurements like I did last time. Um, <clears throat> I made the mistake of of messing up my calculations as I was making the video. The tread depth on these tires new is 17 30 seconds. So half the wear would be eight and a half 30 seconds uh, to be halfway worn through the tire. Um, if you take off the two 30 seconds uh, for the safety margin, um, then you're down to basically, I would say six and a half 30 seconds or six 30 seconds um, for half your wear. Um, but anyway, what I would do, or 7.30, I don't know. We're, we aren't even going to split hairs. Um, again, I'm going to take a measurement outside, or inside, middle, outside. And then this is inside, middle, outside. Okay. So here we go here. Looks like we're at 12.30 seconds. So we've lost 5.30 seconds over the course of 24,000 miles. Again, you got these, these little ridges in here. When you take your tread depth measurement, make sure you're not on one of those. Like here's a, a little gap. I'm gonna put my tread depth gap tool right there. We at here 11:30 seconds, so it's wearing a little bit more on the inside or the middle, maybe a little overinflated. Wow, maybe. Boy, I'd almost say 10:30 seconds. So I'm getting a little bit of wear. But like I said, these on the outside of these, these front tires, this vehicle's always worn them out faster. It's just the, the vehicle. Okay, here's the uh, right rear. This is the inside of the tire. 12, 30 seconds. Middle. 12, we'll call it 12, 30 seconds. Outside. 11, 30 seconds. So they still... In my opinion, they still uh, wear very well. But uh, like I said, I, I was very disappointed in the snow traction this winter. But like you said, like I said, you can see these the sipes here don't go all the way down into the tread blocks. Uh, so brand new, phenomenal. <laughs> As they get about halfway worn, I would probably give them a D minus. Like I said, uh, otherwise, still an outstanding tire. I'm gonna keep doing updates. I don't know how many people are watching these, but I'll just keep doing updates for them. Just keep everybody informed. Thanks a lot. Bye.